Hey guys, Andrea Lascano with Mobile Trainer in Wichita, Kansas, www.mobiletrainer.biz. I bring the workout to you. Please contact me for personal training. Today is another workout Wednesday and I want to talk to you about appropriate clothing for this colder weather and especially when you get close to freezing or below freezing conditions and you're still doing cardio outside. So I'm going to start from the bottom and under layers of course. So a good thick pair of pants, well insulated pants is definitely necessary whenever it starts to get freezing and, and windy at the same time. So um, these are just thicker, basically made for cold weather um, athletic pants. And you can find them in any of your athletic stores. Next, sports bras. Um, I'd start with something that is gonna absorb moisture really well and that is also gonna be comfortable on the skin. Um, ladies, you understand why. Um, this is kind of a cotton one. It's not too restrictive. So, because it also might not be as supportive, not being very restrictive, I wear two. And the top layer can be something a little less comfortable as far as fabric goes. This is made out of lycra, but it helps kind of hold everything. Um, but together, you don't want them to restrict your breathing or be too uncomfortable around your rib cage. Next, a long sleeve shirt, um, once again, made for cold weather or something that's a little bit thicker. This is just a made for cold weather long sleeve shirt by Under Armour. All right, next, a sweater or a sweatshirt. This is just a comfortable cotton sweatshirt. I like to wear it over the top. And guys, if you layer up too much, like say it was even colder and you thought, I'll start with a tank top and then put a long sleeve and then my sweatshirt on top of it, that's fine. Um, you can peel off a layer during the course of your run. It's gonna be much more difficult and uncomfortable if you're way out in the middle of your run and uh, you're starting to get too cold because you didn't have enough on and therefore you get sick. So layer up, you can always peel it off um, or just endure through a really nice, good, hot run. Next, good thick pair of insulated socks that help pull moisture away from your body and a fantastic pair of running shoes. These are some of my favorites by Asics. Just a really good, firm, solid base. I have a wider toe box. These ones are a little bit wider in the toe box to facilitate that. So, and then, of course, you want to protect your head. So in order to do that, instead of using a hat, because I find that often hats will kind of be interfered with by ponytails. So if you have it on, it's fine, kind of like this, but it still doesn't quite cover the tips of your ears. And if you have a ponytail, it kind of pulls it up a little bit. So in order to avoid that issue, I'll put my hair in a high pony. And use some of these sleeves. They're kind of a fleece type stretchy material, um, a pair of them that one will go over my neck and one will go over my head. So one around my neck. I don't even know what they're called exactly. And then one over my head and around my ears. And there we have it. So now all the important parts are covered up and you can cover up most of your face and keep the wind and the cold air off from directly off your face. Now while the inside of this is going to get a little bit moist, it's better than freezing your skin off your face. Um, since there's a little bit of skin still exposed around your eyes, I like to wear some sunscreen. And also, I just use a cheap pair of sunglasses to keep the wind out of my eyes and then it's something that doesn't matter if it falls and breaks. Um, they're just a cheap pair and you can replace them pretty easily for like 10 bucks. Um, a good pair of gloves is also important. There are a lot of different gloves out there and some of them seem like they're going to be warm but they really aren't. Um, this is just kind of a thin pair of gloves that I like to jog in whenever it's cooler, maybe a little bit windier but still it's not quite enough. Here's another one that seems kind of deceptive. Um, they're a little bit warm looking and feeling because they're a uh, fleece type material but it's still thinner and they don't quite do the job. Another pair, thicker fleece this time, uh, brand name, and they actually said on the label whenever I bought them that they were specifically for super cold weather plus they had um, heat insulating qualities uh, on the inside and to reflect the heat back at your skin. It has kind of a reflective surface. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it was, it's a good enough pair. And then I also have some spider ones. 
and these I find are perfectly warm whenever it gets cold outside. <clears throat> so you have that. I also take my little carrying pouch. This is just like a camera pouch or a cell phone pouch and I put in some chapstick and some eye drops. And of course guys I always take my watch with me so I know how long I've been going. This watch also does heart rate monitor um, and will tell me how many calories I burn during a workout dependent on the values that I put into it. Um, it's just a one from Polar and I find that Polar has a great product. So um, that and that's basically it. So if you have any questions, post it in the comments section below. Go to my website www.mobiletrainer.biz and ask away. And uh, that's it. I hope that helped. So again, Andrea Lascano with Mobile Trainer. Call me if you have questions. <laughs> have a great day. Bye.